it's Addie, and today we are watching True Grit. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, welcome. Today we are watching another Coen Brothers movie, True Grit, and I do know that this is a remake. I believe the original came out in 1969, but I haven't seen the original, so I don't really know what I'm getting myself into with this movie. I do know that we have Jeff Bridges, Josh Brolin, Matt Damon, and a young Haley Steinfeld. So I'm definitely excited about this cast and excited to just get into this movie today. If you would like this video, be sure to subscribe for more reaction videos, and let's get into True Grit. People did not give it credence that a young girl could leave home and go off in the wintertime to avenge her father's blood, but it did happen. You must pay for everything in this world one way and another. There is nothing free except the grace of God. Ooh. We have to avenge your father! Is that the man? That is my father. Why is it so much? The quality of the casket and of the embalming. The particulars are in your bill. And she has to pay for it? She's a child. Well, $60 is every cent we have. It leaves nothing for our board. Yarnell, you can see to the body's transport to the train station and accompany it home. I will have to sleep here tonight. She's had to grow up so fast. Dang. Your terms are agreeable if I may pass the night here. Here? Among these people, I'm expecting three more souls. Ladies and gentlemen, beware. Oh. Yeah, you are expecting three people. Uh-huh. I killed the wrong man as to which why I'm here. <laughs> man of few words. Okay. Straight to the point. I would like to say, although... Oh, you're not letting him say anything. Okay. No, we ain't arrested him. Ain't caught up to him. He lit out for the territory. Well, why are you not looking for him? I have no authority in the Indian nation. Could I hire a marshal to pursue Tom Cheney? You have a lot of experience with bounty hunters, do you? That is a silly question. I am here to settle my father's affairs. <laughs> she is so professional. She is so mature. Who's the best marshal? William Waters is the best tracker. The meanest is Rooster Cogburn. He is a pitiless man, double tough. And... Is that the one you'll go after? The best is probably L.T. Quinn. He brings his prisoners in alive. Where can I find this rooster? Oh, yeah, you want the, the tough one. Occupied. I know it is occupied, Mr. Cogburn. As I said, I have business with you. The hell with you. How did you stalk me here? The sheriff told me to look in the saloon. In the saloon, they referred me here. We must talk. Women ain't allowed in the saloon. I was not there as a customer. I am 14 years old. <laughs> I am a child. Good evening. Oh, you really are just going to sleep here? With all the dead bodies. Okay. If you would like to sleep in a coffin... <laughs> it would be all right. Gotta do what you gotta do. I'm Maddie Ross, daughter of Frank Ross. Well, I propose to sell those ponies back to you that my father bought. And I want $300 for Papa's saddle horse that was stolen from your stable. The ponies are yours. Take them. Well, I will take it to law. You have no case. Lawyer Jay Noble Daggett of Dardanelle, Arkansas, may think otherwise. I will pay $200. Oh, it's working. $300. Now, you must take that or leave it, and I do not much care which it is. Are you happy with that? I will settle for 320 if I am given the 20 in advance. Now, here's what I have to say about that saddle. <laughs> she can negotiate. And I'll stay here if you can have me. I just spent last night at the Undertaker's in the company of three corpses. Yeah. You'll be rooming with Grandma Turner when had to double up what with all the people in town to come to see the hand. Oh. Oh. No. Surely this is better than sleeping with corpses? Of course, I don't think they would snore. Or they shouldn't, anyway. Mr. Dogburn? What is it? I'd like to talk to you a minute. They tell me you're a man with true grit. Title of the movie. I'm looking for the man who shot and killed my father, Frank Ross, in front of the Monarch boarding house. They say he's over in Indian Territory, and I need somebody to go after him. The government will pay you $2 for bringing him in, plus 10 cents a mile for each of you. On top of that, I will pay you a $50 reward. Not so shabby. You're no bigger than a corn nubbin. What are you doing with a pistol like that? Well, I intend to kill Tom Cheney with it. Nobody here knew my father, and I'm afraid nothing is going to be done about Cheney except I do it. I don't believe in fairy tales or sermons or stories about money, baby sister, but thanks for the cigarette. Oh, come on, help her! Hello. Mrs. Floyd, have any rooms opened up? The second floor back did open up, but uh, that gentleman on the porch has just taken it. Mm. Dang it. You're not disturbing Grandma Turner. 
No, she's disturbing her. <laughs> Can we get rid of the guy on the front porch and take his bed? What's happening? Is someone watching her? My name is Labeef. Oh, that's my name. I've just come from Yale County. Was he on? Was he the guy on the front porch? I didn't recognize him. This is a man I think you know. You called him Tom Cheney, I believe. Are you some kind of law? That's right. I'm a Texas Ranger. And that may make you a big noise in that state. In Arkansas, you should mind that your Texas trappings and title do not make you an object of fun. <laughs> she does not care about that. He shot and killed a state senator named Bibbs in Waco, Texas. You know anything about the whereabouts of Cheney? I fired a deputy marshal, the toughest one they have. I will throw in with you and your marshal. No. It'll be to our mutual advantage. Yeah, we could work together. It is at least a two-man job taking him alive. I'm not having him go to Texas to hang for shooting some senator. Oh, I'm sorry that you were paid peace work and not on wages, and that you have been eluded the winter long by half wit. <laughs> While I sat there watching you, I gave some thought to stealing a kiss, though you are very young and sick. But now I have a mind to give She's you five child. or six good licks with my belt. She's a child! <laughs> One would be as unpleasant as the other. If you wet your comb, I might tame that cowlick. I love her. <laughs> I owe you money. You have not traded poorly. You will soon find a good buyer for the ponies. I need a pony, and I will pay $10 for one of them. No, that's a lot, Price. No, no. It, wait a minute. Are we trading again? <laughs> He's scared of you at this point. Call him Little Blackie. That's a good name. What does he like for a treat? Well, ma'am, he's a horse. <laughs> he likes apples. Like Mr. Stonehill for me? No, ma'am. I ain't supposed to utter your name. <laughs> Fine, I will wake him. It is I, Maddie Ross, your employer. <laughs> I don't think he actually ever agreed to work with you. How much money you got there? I saved fifty dollars to achieve, Cheney. You did not believe me? Well, I remember your offer. I do not remember agreeing to it. Hundred dollars, that's the rate. I shall not niggle. Can we depart this afternoon? We. Oui. Oh, she's going with you. You have misjudged me if you think I'm silly enough to give you $50 and watch you simply ride off. I will see the thing done. I've been deducted. Oh, this'll be fun. This'll be an adventure. They told me you had grit and that is why I came to you. I'm not paying for talk. I can get all the talk I need and more at the Monarch boarding house. Ooh. Show us some grit. Meet me here at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. We'll begin our coon hunt. All right. That bed looks so comfy. Wake up! Huh? Where's Marshal Cogburn? Did he leave? No way. Oh. This, uh... By the time you read this, I will be across the river in the Indian Nation. I will return with your man, Cheney. I feel like she's going to go after you on her own. Is that Marshal Cogburn? That is the man. So, you're the runaway. Marshal told me you'd show up. I'm to present you to the sheriff. If you don't turn around and take me across, you may find yourself in court where you don't want to be. I have a good lawyer. I don't think he's afraid of you. He should be, though. <laughs> ah! Go, little Blackie. Come on. How deep is this water? Oh, oh, it's really deep. I hope you guys make it across. <laughs> She's coming. She's coming after you. Now that's some true grit right there. <laughs> You're just watching all of it go down. That is quite a horse. I will give you ten dollars for him. Well, from the money you stole from me, I was to accompany you. If I do not, there is no agreement, and my money was stolen. What are you about to do? Oh, it is time for your spanking. Now you will do it. Grown up, thank him. Are you going to let him do this? Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is going to let this just happen. Don't believe a will. Put oh. your switch away, the beef. I aim to finish the whole story. It would be the biggest mistake you ever made, you Texas brush popper. Yeah, you better stop that right now. That is a piece of foolishness. All the snakes are asleep this time of year. I have been known to wake up. Well, let me have a rope, too. Snake will not bother you. Are you you sure? were too little and bony. Are we going to see a snake in this movie? I don't want to. I don't mind a little personal chaffing, but I won't hear anything against a ranger troop from a man like you. Ooh. Are we going to fight? Make me out foolish in this girl's eyes. I think she is. You pretty well figured. <laughs> yeah. I gather that you and Mr. The Beef have come to some, some sort of agreement. We're bringing Cheney down to the magistrate in San Saba, Texas, where they have a considerable reward on offer, which we split. 
That was not our agreement. I want him to know that he's being punished for killing my father. I'll return your money at the end of this expedition. Little Blackie and I are riding back to the U.S. Marshal's office. This is fraud. Oh, <laughs> Sounds to me like you're still being hoorahed by a little girl. You say hoorahed? That was the word. There is no hoorahing in it. <laughs> There's not sufficient dollars in the state of Texas to make it worth my while to listen to your opinions. Our agreement's nullified. You've graduated from marauder to wet nurse. Ooh. So I guess it's just whoever finds him first. Uh, hey! Uh, 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 uh. Oh! <laughs> Coke runs with Lucky Ned. He bought supplies with this. Well, this is Papa's gold piece. Ned's unfinished business for the marshals anyhow. When we have him, we'll also have Cheney. <gasps> this anyone we know? Is it Cheney? I would not recognize the soles of his feet. Huh. You have to cut him down? He's so high up, though. Is that him? I believe oh, not. Oh, she's really having to climb oh, all the way up there. Oh, cut him down. Oh, my gosh. Why? I might know him. You're just making her do all the work. All this work, and I feel like neither of us know who this guy is. Did someone have to climb up there? Why did they hang him so high? Oh, I yeah. do not know. Ooh, ooh. You don't know him, do you? Oh, cute. I do not know this <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Again. <laughs> all that work, you made her climb so high. Oh. Why is he taking the hanged man? Did he know him? He did not, hmm. but it is a dead body. Possibly worth something in trade. That's why I'm... <laughs> He's being followed. Should we be concerned, Mars? No. Mr. LeBeef. Perhaps we could double back over our tracks and confuse the trail in a clever way. No, we will wait right here. Oh, how long will we have to wait? Okay, I feel like we're waiting for a while. What? Interesting. At first I thought I was just looking at a bear riding this horse. <laughs> you are not LaBeef. Who are you? Forester. I practice dentistry in the nation, also veterinary arts, and medicine on those humans that will sit still for it. Uh-huh. Do either of you need medical attention? No, right. Oh, Fix to get cold. Do you know of anywhere to take shelter? You might want to head over to the original Greaser Bob's. Much obliged. Now, I have taken his teeth. I will entertain an offer for the rest of him. What an interesting guy. If they're unfriendly, I'll give you a sign to nap the chimney. Please be friendly. Who is out there? We're looking for shelter. No room for you here. Walls in there. Right on. Kind of smoke them out. Yeah, oh! 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 This is Rooster Cogburn. How many of you is in there? Just the two of us. But my part is hit, and he can't walk. Oh, you definitely, you did get shot. She's an awful lot of soft gear. Boy's looking for company. You can store whiskey here as well. Oh, he'll take care of that. My leg hurts. Oh, oh I bet it does. Yeah, yeah, I bet it does. <laughs> oh, the last time you seen your old pard, Ned Pepper? I do not know him. There's a new boy. I might be running with Ned. Powder mark on his face. Black place. Calls himself Chaney. I don't know those boys. It's best you let me do the talking. I would say. We, we are weary trappers. If you answer the marshal's questions, he will help you. I have a good lawyer at home, and he will help you, too. Come on, answer the questions. We seen Ned and Hayes two days ago. Don't you act a fool! If you blow, I will kill ah, you! I played out! Oh I need gosh. a doctor! Oh my gosh! Two you didn't kill ago. him? Oh my gosh, so much just happened. And they had information. Those are your fingers! I'm dying. Don't leave me lying here. I'll see you're buried right. You tell me about Ned, where'd you see him? They are coming here tonight to get three mounts in Zofki. I'm gone. Oh. Poor guy. He's had a rough night. Poor thing. You should not have seen all of that. One man. It is Labeef. We have to warn him, Marshal. 
Duane. Uh oh. Oh, he's coming out. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he's gonna die. Unless he's working with them. Is that is that is that possible at all? What do we do, Marshall? We sit. What does he do? No, okay, he's not working with them. Okay. They're gonna shoot him. Oh. Well, that's bad. How good of a shot are you? Huh? Pretty good! Okay! Oh, and they're getting away. That was quite the, the jump onto the horse. Oh, it's too late. Dang. Oh, that didn't pan out. <laughs> Not quite. Oh, I'm severely Ooh. injured. Yes, you got drugs oh. on. Uh, also Ow. shot. What happened to your mouth? Uh, I believe I bit myself. Ow. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're just really... Till I just yank it free. I know a teamster bit his tongue off being thrown from a horse. I'll just yank it free. No. What was that no. now? It was lit. Oh, very well. You just really, like, stuck your whole hand into his mouth. <sighs> Neither of these men are Cheney. I know it, I know them both. Now we'll sleep here, follow in the morning. Well, we promised to bury the poor soul inside. Grass too hard. That man wanted a decent burial, they should have got themselves killed in summer. Oh, hmm. well, he has a point. I do not believe he slept. I do not think he did. In conscience, you cannot side our agreement. You're the one who shot me. It is an unfair leg up in any competition to shoot your opposite number. <laughs> I heard the rifle, and I felt the ball. You are more handicapped without the eye than I without the arm. I can hit a nice side down the yard. Okay, okay, there you go. I thought you were gonna say the sun was in your eyes. That is to say, your eye. I feel like we're gonna fight at some point. Oh, oh, oh. Uh-huh. Okay, you did that. My bullet! Your bullet! Shooting cornbread out here on the prairie is getting us no closer to the Ned <laughs> Pepper gang. Okay, we can stop this. We don't need to do this. Cogburn does not want me eating out of his store. It's my store, not Let his. him starve! I shall make my own camp elsewhere. It is you who have nothing to offer, Cogburn. This is no longer a manhunt. The Texas Ranger presses on. Take the girl. I bow out. And we cannot fall out in this fashion. If he is not in a shallow grave somewhere between here and Fort Smith, he is gone. Thanks to Mr. LaBeef, we missed our shot. Trail is cold if there ever was one. Our engagement is terminated. Uh, that sucks. We have to avenge her father. I'm going with you. Oh, that is not possible. The trail is cold. You have shown great determination. I picked the wrong man. I would go home in your company if there were a clear way to go. I'm bound for Texas. Time for you to go home, too. But are we just sending her off on her own? I will not go back, not without Cheney, dead or alive. I misjudge you as well. I extend my hand. Mr. The Beef, please. Is this the last time we're going to see him? <laughs> The mark on his face. You can't hurt her. She's a child. I know you. Yeah, she knows you too. Well, you're a little Maddie the bookkeeper. Isn't that something? What are you going out here? Him to fetch some water. Oh, what are you doing in these mountains here? Well, is it is it loaded? I have come to take you this? back to Fort Smith. Well, I will not go. But if you refuse to go, I will have to shoot you. Well, you had better cock your piece. No lock. I know how to do it. You're going with me. I'll oh! oh, she shot you. Now do it again. <laughs> you killed my father when he was trying to help you. Oh, Ready? I'm down here. Uh, now I'm shot by a child. Daddy is taken into custody. <laughs> Shoot. No. Help me. So now they're taking her. This is good. You have to help her. Go after her. Who else down there? Marshal Cogburn and 50 more officers. You tell me another lie and I'll stove your head in. Just the Marshal. Cogburn! You hear me? I will kill this girl! You know I will do it! This girl nothing to me. She's a runaway from Arkansas. Do you advise that I kill her? Do what you think is best, Ned. 
No! There will be a party of marshals here soon. Let me have the girl and Cheney, and I will mislead them for six hours. Oh! What? What? Why? What? What happened? Huh? Tom Cheney there shot my father to death in Fort Smith and robbed him of two gold pieces and stole his mare. Us girls like to play parties, but you like guns, do you? I do not care a thing in the world about guns. If I did, I would have when that worked. <laughs> Your friend Rooster does not collect many prisoners. He is not my friend. Are we off? Let us cut up the winnings from the Katie Flyer. There'll be time for that at the old place. Tom, you wait here with the girl. When we reach Ma's house, I'll send Carol back with a fresh mount. So it's just gonna be the two of them by themselves? I am not staying here by myself with Tom Cheney. Yeah. That's the way I will have it. He will kill me. I don't, yeah, I don't like this. Any harm comes to that child, you do not get paid. Is that enough to stop him? <laughs> I don't like that it's just the two of us alone. If you let me go, I will swear to it an affidavit and once you are brought to justice, it may go easier on you. I'll tell you I can do better than that. What are you about to do? What are you about to do? No. All I need is your silence. In honesty, I do not regret shooting him. He thought Tom Cheney was small. Is he literally about to kill her? Who is this? Oh, thank you. How is it that you were here? I heard the shot. Cogburn outlined a plan. He returns for Lucky Ned. Well, Rooster, will you give us the road? How many men is with the girl? Just Cheney. She was in excellent health when last I saw her. What is your intention, Rooster? I mean to kill you in one minute, Ned. Oh, let's see how this goes. Oh, and you're down. Shoot them, Mr. LaBeef. Oh. Whew. Okay. Is that all of them? Oh, he's the one that went down. Please, please, please. Oh. It wasn't too far. It looks like he shot him. Yeah. The sharp's carbine is a. <laughs> Come on. Good job, little Maddie. Ooh, right off the cliff. No, no, no. Oh, I don't know what's in here. What is in here? I'm scared to see what's in here. Please tell me nothing. Please tell me she's just trapped. They just mentioned snakes earlier, so I'm afraid that there's like, I don't know, a giant snake in here. Okay. Can we use that knife? This is very creepy, but the knife could be helpful. Ugh. Oh, no, 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 no. Is that, was that a snake? Did that, that looks like a snake. That looks like a snake. Oh gosh, I can't watch this. No, 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 no. Oh, mother trucker. Oh, it is a snake. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Mr. LaBeef! Oh gosh. No, 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 no. I haven't had to deal with a snake in a movie in a while. I'm here! Can you clear her out? No. I cannot. There are snakes. There are snakes. Oh, no, no. Ah! Oh, no, no. I'm bit. Okay, I was right to be worried about the snakes. Where are you bit? Do you have to cut the hand off? Oh, oh you're saving her. You would never just leave her. I'll send help for you as soon as I can. We are not leaving him. This must get you to a doc says you're not gonna make it. I mean, you're dead for that shot part. Never doubt the Texas Ranger. Go on. You got this, Maddie. You can't die after all of this. Little Blackie is cleared out. We're miles yet. No! <laughs> oh, gosh! That's it, come on now! This poor horse. Aww. The horse isn't gonna die, is it? No! 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 no, no. The horse did so much for us. I hate that you had to do that. Hopefully, someone will come out to help us. I'm grown old. <laughs> Come help, please. 
A quarter century is a long time. By the time we reached Bagby's store, my hand had turned black. I was not awake when I lost the arm. Oh, but you're alive. He departed before I came round. He I saved wrote him with an life. invitation to come by the next time he found himself near Yale County and collect the $50 I still owed him. He did not appear. Wow. He didn't come back for then the money. Then one day, I received a note from the marshal with a flyer enclosed. He said he was traveling with the Wild West show. It grieves me to tell you that you have missed Rooster. He passed away three days ago. Oh, you missed him by three days. I had the body removed to our plot, and I have visited it over the years. I heard nothing more of the Texas officer, Labeef. If he is yet alive, I would be pleased to hear from him. Time just gets away from us. Hmm. And that's the end of the movie. Oh, I didn't know Spielberg produced this. I need to mention it while I'm still thinking about it because the that hymn is playing. But I really enjoyed how that hymn was like woven through the theme of the, it was just a musical theme throughout. I just feel like it really fit the the tone of the movie it just fit it just fit the movie really well it was it was really cool to hear that throughout wow i enjoyed this movie i enjoyed this story so much the cast is so good i mean seeing jeff bridges and matt damon and the josh brolin as the villain and Haley steinfeld she was so young when this came out but she's so good she's so good in it I mean, her character had to just grow up so fast and was so mature. I don't know. She's so good. I felt like I w she was just an adult in this. I don't know. She was she was just so good. That's kind of like a mind-blowing performance by a, a child, by a teenager in this. Wow. I really enjoyed this one. I also liked the, I guess, just the character journey with all of them, the character growth with Rooster where at some point he was just, I mean, obviously he's doing this for the money, and but then he went through the process of the trail is cold, I give up, just figure it out, just go away, go back home. And then for the scenes to unfold and for him to save her and save her life there, I mean, that was so cool. I mean, he was doing everything he possibly could to save her. And then it is kind of sad that like they didn't really see each other after that he kind of just left and they that, that's sad I wish they could have like connected later on in life but I mean she just missed him literally missed him by three days that's so sad but wow I really enjoyed this movie it's so well done I enjoyed this story and just the all of the characters the Coen Brothers movies are interesting because I feel like all of them are so different I don't know I mean they still have I guess a feel there are similarities but I don't know. They're so different. I mean, I've seen a lot of their comedies and then Fargo is a comedy. It's just a, a dark comedy. Very, very, very dramatic at times. But I guess this is one of the more serious ones I've watched. I mean, there were still funny moments, of course, throughout. And then No Country for Old Men. I mean, that was very intense. It, it's just interesting to like look through all of their movies and just see how different they are. I don't know. But, but I mean, they're all so well done throughout. So I've really enjoyed, honestly, all of the Coen Brothers movies that I've seen so far. And yeah, now I'm glad that I've seen another one of their movies. This one was True Grit. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time.